I'm going to set it up using the uh, point on the uh, dead centre. So let's just get the jaws open to start with. I'm not quite sure where they're going to end up, but let's just get them open so I can get it sitting in there. I've also got to bear in mind that I'm going to take. I've also got to bear in mind that I'm going to take five millimetres off the face. So let's see if we can get that uh, how that's going to sit. Not quite sure how that's going to sit. Um, yeah, it's actually going to be quite a bit off centre. I'm not sure. Look, let's get the let's get the dead centre in. So we can see what we're doing, shall we? Right, we're about somewhere there from a centre point of view, but I've got to come out at least five millimetres. So stick a couple of parallels behind there and one on there so they don't fall through. So I've got a parallel there. Rest these two on that one. And then I can set this up like that. <coughs> um, that one's out quite a bit more than that one, so let's get those two sort of roughly equal. Now got it set up in the four jaw, so let's start facing it down. going to drill a four millimeter hole in there just so I can put a gauge pin in when I flip it over to line up the other side. Right that's it we've got a hole through there now I can flip it over use a gauge pin can use a gauge pin in the chuck to line it up on the other side. Right, what I've decided to do, instead of trying to set it back up in the four jaw, I'm going to set it up in the collet. Right, the reason I've decided to set it up in the collet is because I've got to mill it down to four and a half millimeters, which means there's only going to be about three millimeters in the jaw of the chuck, which means it's, it's going to be hanging right out on the edge. So I'm going to I'm going to try and do it in the collar and hopefully it'll work out okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's give it a try anyway. Um, if necessary I can bring the dead centre, in fact I might do that straight off 
and bring the live center in. Just to give it a little bit of stability. Not it's barely touching it. Let's see if we can uh, still get into where we need to be. I think we uh, move that back. We can get in there, certainly where we need to be with that in position, so just uh, see if how straight it's sitting in there. Yeah, it looks to be pretty good actually. No. Take the centre out now and get this turned down to 12 millimetres. take off of that to get down to four and a half. Right. Right, that's um, 6.2, so I've got to take off 2.7. Exactly 4.5. Yep, spot on. Right, I have to go over to the mill now and uh, get the shape. Well, it looks pretty good. Obviously, got to file some of this off. Um, but I've drilled the hole off centre so I can uh, correct any uh, deviations later on. It's not a critical part, it's just um, a, a lever bracket. Put a couple of little scribe lines on, one there and one there. So I'm just going to mill down to those two scribe lines and that will give me uh, a reference point for squaring these ends and doing the others. Alright, so how I'm going to set that up is I'm going to put the uh, parallel on there. And I'm going to just tap it down to the scribe line. Just tap it down to the scribe line. The scribe line is now parallel with the top of the jaw which is fine because that if I put my scale on there that runs through that line runs through with the top of this so I'll be able to mill directly down to the line right, I've got a six millimeter cutter set up now I'm going to mill that down to the scribe line by eye little datum to work to now, a little registration surface. Now I've got to set it up in a similar way. Let's get that out of the way. Right, I've squared that up using a parallel. I'll just dust off the top there now. It should be 
eight millimeters. Yeah. Right, now I'm going to set it up that way, and I've got a little scribe line on there now that I'm going to mill down to using the parallel on the bottom of the vise as I did before to give me a nice registration surface. I've lined the edge of the cutter with this edge here, and that's got to come in eight millimeters. Let me get the drawing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, it's got to come in this, look, four and four, eight millimeters. So I want to come in eight millimeters from that edge to here, down to 44 millimeters in the overall height. I'm setting this up is I'm measuring the depth of the top of the back jaw and then I'm going to move the gauge over to there and I can now see through that there. I can now see just through there that I'm exactly on the bottom of the gauge there. While I've got it set up in the vise in this method, I'm going to just take these extra off there just by gradually moving it around in the vise and just skimming it off. So if I just move that a little bit, you see, I can just skim it off there. Can't do that because it's a uh, it's catching there. What I'm going to have to do is bring it up to the end here and do it like that. That's taken quite a bit of the bulk off there. It's just a little bit less to file down now. Right, that's the setup. Um, I'm going to mill this out. Um, and then I'm going to move the setup, do the other lines. It's a, it's a bit fiddly, but um, I'll get there. That's that side cut. Um, I'm now going to cut, set it up again, and cut this other side. 
Got a couple done. Um, it's got the two of the little bits at this end, so I'll have to reposition that, and uh, then we'll get them done. Right, gonna get this little bit done here now, up to this radius. Got a bit greedy there. Um, what I was trying to do, I was trying to cut that bit off there, that piece through there with the cutter at full reach, and because it was too much for it. So um, anyway, I've got the bulk of it done. I'll uh, nibble that bit out um, with another cutter and uh, yeah I have a plan well it's, it's not looking too bad considering a little bit of filing and a bit of clean up and I think we'll be there That's the uh, finished bracket apart from the uh, full size hole which I'll drill in later on when I assemble it. Um, it's not turned out too bad considering. Um, I've got a, a different radius here to what they've got. They've come a lot further on with a smaller cutter but I'm quite happy with that, how that's turned out. Um, it's pretty cosmetic anyway, it does, doesn't really matter. Um, the important dimensions are there the overall dimension that is it's just this internal shape which is purely decorative anyway so I'm, I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out that's all folks I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.